We are moving on to the Logan Paul response video. My response to CoffeeZilla's scam allegations, okay? Um, Anila, thank you for the five. Get the subs. Here's the three-minute ad break now. Deadlifts will mess you up. Don't recommend do other lifts. I watched her three-part series called Investig- CoffeeZilla. I watched her three-part series called Investigating Logan Paul's Biggest Scam. And like many on this platform, you have successfully used my name for views and money. While your work used to be impartial, your addiction to clicks has clouded your judgment and you've made very- What the fuck? Bro, this dude conducted a two-year-long investigation, showed proof of like a very obvious interest in rug pulling, okay? And now Logan Paul's like, oh, you're clickbaiting with me, dude. Like, come on, dog. Real errors with very real repercussions. Coffee, you took a shot at my reputation. Uh, so in this video today, I'm going to be defending myself with facts, something that... For the record, like, when you're a guy like Logan Paul, realistically speaking, uh, defamation suits uh, sometimes, like... Def like your if your reputation is already in the gutter, like how the fuck is someone going to defame you further? Is a real you have gotten in is a real question that you need to ask. The habit of twisting as you continue to morph from an investigator to a gossip channel. You see, Coffeezilla tried to work with law enforcement in the past, but his work was described as not anchored to truth and often speculative. He is a lopsided journalist with an agenda, and he's nothing more than the keem star of crypto and finance. But as opposed to just telling you. Yo, the disrespect here is so fucking insane. Holy shit, dude. Jesus Christ. He basically, he basically is just, <laughs> he unironically is like, hey, you're, uh, I used to love your work, but also now that you've come after me multiple times, it's kind of fucked up. I'm just going to say you're Keemstar. I'm going to show you some of the core discrepancies that I caught in CoffeeZilla's investigation. Coffee, you interviewed the developer who stole the game code, fled to Switzerland, and held it hostage for a million dollars. Well, his name is Zach Kelling. Surely, as the internet detective that you proclaim to be, you would know that he spent time in prison for multiple felonies, one for aggravated robbery, armed robbery at a liquor store, and the other... Wait, not a single person thinks that any of the people involved in this situation are good people. You hired him, you fucking idiot. You literally hired... Dog, what is this? He's just like compounding the L's, dude. He's like, this guy that I hired to do scams on my audience? Well, that guy's a bad guy. Oh, sick, man. Okay. Other four, surprise, obstructing the legal process. I can see why you kept him anonymous. Who will be calling Z here? I guess among many things, it doesn't surprise me that he lied about having 30 engineers and a $50,000 a week burn rate. On my end, I have 30 engineers, I'm burning $50,000. Which side note is how this delusionist landed on the million dollar code ransom, but it turns out he only had three engineers. Wouldn't someone with journalistic integrity know their credible source had not only an agenda, but a fondness for orange jumpsuits? Or did you just hear what you wanted to hear and moved on? Because even Wait, bro, there is no way he's, what? Bro, that's an L for you, dog. You hired him. What is happening right now? And also, CoffeeZilla's... I don't think CoffeeZilla, when we watched the three-part investigation, ever was like, this Z guy, he's a really good guy. I really like him. Like, he didn't say that at all. What is happening right now, dude? He's like, hey, this guy that's a bad guy, I hired him to do bad things. And if you're lying to yourself, Steven, you still have to believe it. And I know what you're thinking. What type of idiot would work with an unsavory individual like Zach Kelling? I guess that's what I get for trusting the team that I relied on to vet and manage Eddie's hiring process, who has <laughs> turned out to be a professional con man that I have since learned fooled billionaires. Well, also, for the record, like, he also revealed all this the shit, The Mormon too. church, the owner of the New York Yankees, and now... Me. And surely you knew Emilio, the gentleman who supposedly let his child invest in a cryptocurrency, was allegedly responsible for two rug pulls before you interviewed him. So either you missed that or you knew it and failed to let the public know. Wait, what? 
Dude, dude, bro, of course he is. They're all fucking dickhead crypto people. Oh my God, I feel so good. I, dude, I feel, I feel like this is just made for me specifically, okay? Everyone involved in crypto is a fucking asshole, dude. What, is it okay that the guy that you rug pulled from is also a rug puller himself? Yeah, no shit. You're all in fucking crypto. You're all doing it. You're all doing it to one another. That's why I was like, listen, I want to feel bad for these guys, but it's hard for me to feel bad for these guys because I know they're like the worst victims on the fucking planet. Oh, it's so good. Why? Because it was a clear sign that he was also untrustworthy. You seemed pretty excited when the guy told you that he couldn't hatch the eggs. Wait, you can't even hatch? No, I'm telling you, it's just a picture. You're kidding, you can't hatch? You're kidding, you can't hatch? You can't hatch? Uh, yeah, one second of research would prove that to be false as you can definitely hatch eggs and even breed your animals. Click on that. Oh, we got a duck. And as you pointed out- in your Bro, these are such irrelevant parts of the- Oh my God, I'm losing it. It's like, oh, damn, you could actually hatch those eggs in my rug pull that I did, okay? Which, by the way, this is a gotcha moment, I will admit, because as much as uh, I love CoffeeZilla, he does still have, like, a, a, a soft side for, like, defending crypto for some weird reason. And not only that, but also, not only that, but also, like, he brought up the, the hatching part routinely to be like, oh, so, like, you couldn't even do the functional part. Well, it doesn't matter because the entire thing's a rug pull anyway. Your fine print cross hatching was available on ETH at one point, but you perpetuated the opposite as truth with your chest out. Basically, nothing worked. And by the way, guy, almost all NFTs are just pictures. Oh, it's just a picture. And surely a real internet detective would not break criminal and civil laws in trying to get information, right? So why have you allowed the illegal recording of Jeff's phone call without his permission? And then more like an internet criminal, post it online and it was interesting it was like this is wild now although you didn't verify any backgrounds substantiate any evidence took multiple criminals words at wait so he said he said the guys i hired are criminals the guys i scammed are also scammers themselves also now he's like threatening because he's like you released in your investigation uh a a conversation a phone call from my manager also, what one, there are one party states that exist for uh, consent. Like there could be a one party uh, recording state that CoffeeZilla is in potentially. I don't know. But also, um, not only that, but doesn't he literally fucking say, also, you're a bad journalist who doesn't do his due diligence? What do you mean? Oh, are you talking about, um, yeah, he's saying, CoffeeZilla, you're a bad journalist. Okay. Uh, then he followed up by just basically admitting that he worked with a fucking known, uh, you know, scammer, which CoffeeZilla also pointed out, like, Crypto King is a known scammer, but I guess the Z guy is also a known scammer. Who gives a shit, okay? Logan is the one who worked with him. He's now threatening, basically, like, inferring, or, or I mean, alluding to the fact that he might actually sue for this... Uh admitting that he might like, you know, alluding that he might actually fucking sue CoffeeZilla for uh, leaking the phone conversation between him and Jeff. As truth and broke laws, you still publish the defamation. However, unlike you, the blockchain doesn't lie. So let's highlight some things that you did point out. Crypto King Jake stole $6 million. True or not, we had already removed him from the team when we realized he was a bad actor and his motives were purely financial. Conman Eddie, lead developer, stole 1.7 million. True or not, when we learned he was a bad actor as well, he was immediately removed from the team. While myself and Jeff sold nothing and made nothing as verified through investigation and Wait, but that doesn't matter. Dude, that doesn't matter. You sent text messages in a group chat where you literally... He, I, there's no way he's going to admit that, right? If he... Because that is the main part, okay? The juice, okay? The main situation here is that Logan Paul in a group chat very clearly is working with scammers and saying, let's figure out the perfect time to do a rug pull. That's it, Okay? That's it. That is what, that is the fundamental, like, main point of contention here with Logan Paul. 
Nobody thinks Logan Paul didn't get fucked over in this. Everybody understands that Logan Paul got fucked over in this, okay? He did. He wanted to scam people, and he went and he worked with other scammers that intent that uh, that ended up scamming him, okay? You are kind of wrong. I am not kind of wrong. Logan Paul did the second bullshit cryptocurrency uh, NFT scam. This is not even his first. This is his second one, okay? After, like, Dink Doink Coin or whatever, he wanted to make his own thing, and he literally openly tried to do his own thing and got fucked over because of the other scammers he was working with. Just because you, just because you didn't, okay, here, here's what this is like, okay? If cryptocurrency was like a regulated security, okay? If this was an, if this was a normal stock market situation, which it isn't, so you can do whatever the fuck you want, really, okay? So the only thing you're staking on it is your reputation in most instances, um, if, if, if you, for example, robbed a bank, okay, but you did not get away with robbing the bank because the other bank robbers decided to fuck you over last second, okay, and stole some of the money from you, okay, but you got caught by the police, you still tried robbing a bank with a bunch of other bank robbers. You can't just be like, oh, your honor, I'm sorry, I fucking couldn't rob the bank successfully, even though there are there is plenty of evidence showing that I tried to rob the bank and put the fucking team together to rob the bank. But as you can see, the other more esteemed, more uh, you know, veteran bank robbers fucked me over in the process. You still tried robbing the bank. You can't turn around and be like, well, I mean, I don't fucking do I have money from the bank? No, I have no bank notes. That's not how that works. This is awesome, though. All right, let's continue. And the blockchain. Jeff, Logan's manager, to my knowledge, never sold. Neither did Logan Paul. I repeat, Jeff and I made no money and will never make any money on CryptoZoo. In fact, we only lost money trying to pick up the pieces. As has been the case with dozens of crypto and NFT projects, the space is unfortunately ripe for bad actors to infiltrate projects that start with even the best intentions. I dude, this is so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. He literally tried to do it. <laughs> Yo, I love God. I love crypto so much, and it couldn't, it couldn't fuck over worse people if it tried. Okay, that's why it's great. That's why it's awesome. But the apology is smart because he's trying to play the victim for his fans. First of all, he's not apologizing. He's only attacking CoffeeZilla and saying CoffeeZilla is a piece of shit. That's it. Jake the Snake is no longer affiliated with CryptoZoo, and we hope the money he reappropriated was worth ruining his reputation. Con man Eddie is being investigated by a higher authority that I cannot speak on. As you can imagine, I was not cleared from legal. God. <laughs> He said, he's being investigated by a higher authority that I cannot speak on. The higher authority? The highest authority. God. ...that I cannot speak on. As you can imagine, I was not cleared from legal to discuss much of this, including the legal process being undertaken and the criminal investigations going on during the fallout. But I do appreciate you calling out that rats under my nose stole the game code, millions of dollars, and left Jeff and I abandoned with no team and knives in our back. But even after 12 months of work, you've still managed to overlook one crucial piece of information. See, even though I've said it's coming so many times, you've assumed that CryptoZoo isn't being made. Who are you to decide when the development timeline ends? I got everything stolen from me and our community. Stop promoting publicly as soon as I knew the extent of the internal issue. Oh my God. Is he still gonna go through with it? Yo, that's awesome. That's fire. He's like, he's like, no, no, dude. I'm gonna, in order to fucking, in order to fucking salvage my reputation i in order to salvage my reputation i'm gonna follow through on this failed project where i very openly conspired to do a rug pull okay 
Let's go. I love this, dude. Let's go. Issues took all of the heat on social, and you still published a defamatory hit piece, fully knowing I was innocent, just so you could enrich yourself in your $10 million studio. Sharp, but deeply unethical, dangerously misleading, and illegal. I suggest you use the money you got from pumping your Patreon to hire a good lawyer. You're gonna need it. And maybe we could have talked about this if you had reached out to me. Why would he did reach out to you? And also... He reached out to you a lot. You blocked him. And also, not only that, but like, bro, you can't say this project, like, this person is defaming me, okay? When you, like, simultaneously are using parts of his investigation to prove your innocence <laughs> and then refusing to acknowledge the main component, your role in the scam. That's it. Like, you hired these motherfuckers. You knew they were shady. Didn't Crypto King literally fuck over Jake Paul, like his brother? And then you openly conspired alongside them to go and fucking, you know, figure out the perfect timing to pull out. It's just like, dude, dude, Logan, what are you doing, my man? What are you doing? Just do the WWF thing. You're good at that. Okay? Do the boxing thing. You're good at that. Like, those are good things that does not involve you being a piece of shit. Why? You already are, like, a multi gorillionaire Why do you fucking feel the need to do NFT rug pulls, man? I don't understand it. I don't. I genuinely don't understand it. I don't. Like, he had an opportunity... He's not good at boxing. Man, shut the fuck up, okay? He still was able to go and, like, you know, fight Floyd Mayweather, even if it's, like, a fake fight or whatever. That shit's still pretty fire. Like, it is. There are redeemable things that he could... There, there are redeemable pursuits that Logan Paul could engage in, okay? But he's like, I'm going to do all that, and I'm also going to still keep doing the fucking weird shit. He can't stop himself, dude. He can't stop himself. Logan Paul just posted to the Crypto Zoo Discord for the first time in over a year. Long time no see. Hope you can repair everything. I am. <laughs> so why did you abandon us for over a year why did it take coffee to expose everything for you to message we have lost millions people's lives have been destroyed <laughs> that was another thing that i you know i i'm sorry it's hard for me it's hard it's hard it's hard for me to fucking feel bad dude it's one of those things where it's like oh come on you you, you went into bed with logan paul you went into bed with Logan Paul because you thought it was going to be a get-rich-quick scheme. I still, I'm going to feel bad. I'm going to feel bad regardless because you got fucked over. But, like, also, come on, dude. At a certain point, you got to be like, all right. Personally, not my manager, Jeff, who is not me, me, Steven. But the first time you did was on Christmas Eve after you released your series so you could rely on false statements and unreliable people used recklessly. The subject line was third request for comment. Yeah, not quite. This will be my third time. Wait, that's not true. He definitely fucking uh, uh, tried to reach out to him. Logan Paul responded, too long, didn't, what? TLDW? What is W in that situation? Oh, too long, didn't watch. Zero apologies, zero addressing victims, zero accountability. I'll reply in full when I organize my thoughts. But for now, Logan accused me of not reaching out to him directly until 2020, uh, December 24th, 2022. But doesn't mention I reached out over a year prior on Instagram. Hey, Logan, I've been trying to reach people from the CryptoZoo team to get comment on the emerging story that the devs in this project haven't been paid. I have uh, two really good sources saying they have not been paid by CryptoZoo, that in fact, no devs have been paid. In fact, that V3 was an attempt to blacklist some people from the wallets, people who invested in their own money in the crypto zoo. I'd like to get a response from the crypto zoo team within 24 hours. All right, a year prior, this is weak. What do you mean? Bro, how many... 
Dog, that's October 1st, 2021. How many years is he... How how many years are you supposed to fucking w wait to... to What? This is literally like... This is unironically an open and shut ironclad fucking situation where he at least did his due diligence. You're crazy. All right, let's watch the rest of this. Time reaching out to you and your team. The first two times were through your manager, Jeff. The first two times were through your manager, Jeff. Okay, so the last time on Christmas Eve, after the fact, was to me, you have a funny way of twisting things. And I also noticed you left out that part on Twitter. Why hide that? Trust me, CryptoZoo is coming. I will make damn sure of it. And honestly, it sucks that after years of personal reform, going through trials and tribulations and busting my ass to evolve. This is what I'm saying. Like, dude, he has a podcast. He's like, he has this moment. No, no, no. Shut up. Before you fucking shit on Logan Paul for a second, listen, he was really, really bad. Okay. He was really, 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 really bad for so long. And then he upgraded to being kind of bad, but like mostly bad still. Okay. That's a level of marginal reform. Long way to go still, but he was on the right path. But he just couldn't stop himself from scamming motherfuckers, bro. It's crazy. Okay? It is crazy to me. Like, just do the podcast. That's great. You know, it's fucking killing it. Do the WWF shit, WWE, whatever the fuck you call it. You're killing it there. Just do that. But he had to do... All this other scam bullshit. Just sell t-shirts, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? All right, I'll do a rug pull, then start a podcast. That means I'm a better person. No, dude. First of all, the reason why he is a bad person, okay, is because of how much clout he has and what he's doing with it you as a random person that tries to do a fucking rug pull are not going to be able to hurt that many people okay who gives a fuck if you decide to to do a rug pull nobody cares chatter that's the point he's misusing his power into a person that I can say I'm actually proud of. You led the charge to drive and monetize a narrative telling millions of people that I'm a fraud or I tried to scam my audience. That is patently false. This video is mainly for my fans and anyone who's on the fence that I hope I can help understand a situation that is tremendously complex but has been <laughs> oversimplified for both views and oh. clicks. And lastly, CoffeeZilla. I now know your motives with this. Clout and money, good for you, but also your, your slimy as so I'm not gonna come on any of your podcasts. If you wanna come on Impulsive and talk about this, that's fine. You've denied my invitation multiple times. You're still invited. It can be a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, if not, we're gonna handle this ourselves while we continue to build CryptoZoo and I'll see you in court. Dude, I love that. <laughs> 2023, maybe 24. Dude, that's awesome. He even has a hydration drink that sells immediately as it comes on shelves. Why they need to scam? That's what I'm saying. That's another one. That's another one. You got a fucking energy beverage or whatever the fuck, a hydration beverage. That shit's going crazy. Like, he has literally everything going for him. And he's still, he's still, by the way, not a single mention of the text messages, okay? Like, the smoking gun that ties Logan Paul into this entire process outside of like the very obvious things like he hired these motherfuckers, right? Is the conversations that he had with all the other pieces of shit, okay? That is the moment that you go from a person who is like, uh, you know, truly a believer in crypto zoo to a person who is very clearly trying to do uh, a, a rug pull. He did not mention that at all. Have you read the top comment? It's not my fault that I hired bad actors for my Ponzi.
Didn't deny the stealth launch. Didn't mention whether he got money from the egg selling. Didn't deny any of the market manipulating. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, that's the juice, man. That's the shit that like involves you, okay? The fact that you <coughs> hired other scammers who ended up scamming you in your endless endeavor to scam others doesn't change the reality. By the way, here, Logan Paul actually did respond. If you expect me to see every DM that comes through from every social media gossip channel trying to make a name for themselves, you're ridiculous. And like I said in my email, you scrubbed the blockchain for a living and somehow managed to text my personal phone number yesterday. I can't imagine you didn't know slash have my professional email. <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. He did. He has reached out to him. That's crazy. And you claimed he did not reach out to you. He did. What is he? What the fuck is he supposed to do? He did everything. He called his fucking manager. That's it. A serious question. Why is law enforcement not active on this? I mean, he scammed millions of dollars. Well, that's you're you're kind of coming to the the basic point that I've been trying to drive home for the past couple of years now about cryptocurrency. It's cryptocurrency. That's what it is. That's what it's for. Do you understand? That's that's what it that's why people do it. <laughs> he only uses Instagram to get bitches. <laughs> True. Yeah. <laughs> No, he didn't call CoffeeZilla a criminal. He just said that he is going to he is going to sue CoffeeZilla for defamation. But Did you notice the text Logan shared says second request? Yeah, I know. Like, literally, even in his own fucking email, it says, like, this is my second request. Anyway, it's not regulated and never should be regulated, so motherfuckers got to accept that consequence. I mean, it should just not exist, in my opinion. Like, that's what I think. Anyway, the worst thing that Logan Paul ever could have said to another human being is called him Keemstar, though. Like, so, I don't know. Law, no law enforcement in, the, in crypto is a feature, not a bug. I mean, dude, it's literally the, why do all these homosexuals keep sucking my cock conversation, but, like, in, in cryptocurrency form, okay? Like, that's, like, what do you mean? Oh, man, I can't believe I got fucked again. Like, uh, yeah, dude, you're doing it. You're doing the thing. You're doing the unregulated scam thing. Like, it, there's, like, very big, like, big, bold font letters that say, this is a scam. Join here. Hopefully, you can scam others, maybe. <sighs> the only reason why, like, SBF is being investigated is because, again, he didn't fuck over just, like, random crypto dickheads. He fucked over rich people with institutional power. Okay? That's why. Yeah, this is where, the, this, is where this comes from. Why do all these homosexuals keep sucking my cock? This is another Hassan Piker Hassanabi trope, okay? You fuck over poor people, you become rich. You fuck over rich people, you go to jail.
Is it possible Logan Paul can rug pull the same crypto project twice? Do you think the people who lost money will double down and get screwed again? You want to know something sad? I do. I don't think he will like rug pull this time though. But I do. Yes, I do. Because that's how fucking stupid people in NFT projects are. Didn't he say coffee broke the law and leaked that call? No, he didn't. It's uh, he, he probably did it in Texas, which I think is a one-party consent state. Um, you're wrong. True. Yes, as opposed to ever scrupulous stock exchange. See, this is the guy. This is the reason why there are always suckers out there, okay? This is the guy. This is the guy who's going to keep getting ass blasted, okay? That's the guy. You found him. You asked me. Will, uh, you asked me, will there be a second version of CryptoZoo or a third version of CryptoZoo that ends up getting, uh, you know, that ends up causing people to lose money? Yes. I think the worst outcome here is that Logan actually convinces people to dump more money into his train wreck. One last con, and it's not impossible. This is what happens. Unpopular opinion. I might put in another thousand dollars right now only because I think after Logan has CoffeeZilla on the podcast to talk about crypto zoo, people are still gonna invest. I'm not trying to be for Logan or, or on this project at all. I've been in since day two and have gotten fucked over purely looking at this as an opportunity to make a quick bug. I don't recommend this unless you have the financial standing. See? It's because these people are fucking stupid enough to think they can fuck over other people. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, I love it. I just, I God, I love crypto so much. This is why it's like, it's other people. What did I tell you while we were watching this? I literally talked about this very type of brain rot. There's two types of motherfuckers that get involved in this, okay? The, the motherfuckers that are actually doing the rug pull and the dumb motherfuckers who are getting rug pulled who think they can pull it on others underneath them. That's how MLMs work. They know it's a scam, but they're too stupid to think that they're not going to get scammed while they're getting fucking scammed. Whew. God, I love this. I love this so much. It's hard, dude. Can't wait for Ludwig's ass to make another mogul mail on this. Guys, I heard that horse number four is performance enhancing drugs. Wait, what? It's just a battle of who holds the bag at the end. There's no product being sold. There's no value. It's just convincing someone else to hold the bag while you profit off of their stupidity. Yes, I think to a certain extent they are so deep that, they, that it is less risky to invest more. No, 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 no. No, you are describing the sunk cost fallacy. That is not how this works. No, dude. That lit you're describing like just like the most basic fucking thing. No, no, there is no point where you actually fucking invest more into a project thinking that you're going to make. Dude, that's how gamblers work. And cryptocurrency is gambling. So is the stock market, but goddamn, like. I spent a couple hundred bucks in the last two weeks. Better to buy now than at the beginning when the project was all hyped, in my opinion. Oh, my God. The truth for a lot of them is that they also have inflated self-assessment of intelligence too because they can do crypto, aka hacker man's Mr. Robot money, but they can also turn around and get tricked by guys with avatars like this. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say about the, the, I don't know what to say about this. Like, it's just, these people are too stupid. Like, they are unsavable. <laughs> and 
They're the smelliest, most annoying motherfuckers too. All, all the way down. You know what I mean? Like all the way down the ride, all the way down that fucking journey, they are just going to keep screaming. No, I don't expect you to see every DM, which is why I reached out to your manager and explicitly said I was trying to reach you because I hadn't gotten a response. Yeah. It was only after getting a response from him that I began calling his manager, Jeff, for answer about the crypto zoo developers and got com comically stupid responses. Hey, Jeff. Hey, uh, sorry to bother you. This is Steven with CoffeeZilla. I'm calling because I've heard reports that CryptoZoo hasn't paid their development team, and I'm just reaching out for comment before I do this story. Um, I got your number from one of the development team, and uh, they just wanted to... Influencer rug pulls several projects because he gambled. I'm sorry. Who the fuck is this guy? Computer engineer, gamer, veteran. There's no easy way to deliver this news. and It's by far one of the toughest messages I've had to deliver. Over the last year, I got incredibly addicted to gambling. Every dollar I could find, I would put into stake in hopes of winning big. Even when the big wins did happen, it wasn't enough. Eventually, I lost everything in addition to my own life savings. Hmm. Someone keyword search Hasanabi on this dude's uh, 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 Twitter real quick. I want to see. I want to see something. I want to see. I want to see if he had any takes about uh, Stake.com getting banned off the platform. I just want to know if he if he did. It's a fun little game. It's a fun little game I like to play sometimes. Whenever I see someone being like, "You fucking piece of shit," like take accountability for your actions. You know, I, I usually will go click on their website or, or click on their profiles, and I'll immediately see motherfuckers be like, you know, hitting the fucking gamba. Yeah, look up Hassan or Pokey. I want to see DNP3. Maybe he has nothing. Who knows? Um, to all my friends and family, oh, okay, uh, I, I also irresponsibly use investor funds to try and get my money back from the casino, which was wrong for so many reasons. To all of my friends and family and everyone who believed in me, I am so deeply sorry. There aren't words to describe the level of shame and guilt I feel. I can no longer live in this dark world, and this is my attempt to break free. I am now completely broke, both financially and spiritually. My sense of trust... In myself is compromised. I'm working with a help group to start the path of recovery. I will create and separate. Uh, I will create a separate tweet, which will have the next steps for each project I was involved in, including CLU, Zania, Gridcraft, and Goobers. Bro, it's like they're not even trying. Like it's like literally called Goobers. It's like scam coin. You know what I mean? Like, they'll just be like, this is a scam. You're going to get fucked over coin. Guys, I have a new, I have a new, uh, a new scam happening. It's called. What is this? Oh, yeah. You looked up, uh, you, you, oh, yeah. He is a train wrecks guy. Of course he is. Yeah, I remember. There was a scam coin. I remember. Hey, guys, uh, I have a new project that I'm announcing. It's called, you're going to get fucked over if you buy into this coin. Okay? Tadek said 99% of gamblers quit right before they hit it big. <laughs> true. That's true. Keep going, boys. Keep going. <laughs> it's called the rug pull coin. I'm sorry that I betrayed your trust. I'm sorry that I did not live up to my values of integrity. I'm sorry that I let you down. I am sorry. Like, I, I feel bad for this dude because at a certain point, like, you know, he is a victim who then turns around and, like, does worse shit to other people. Bro, at least the greedy little speculating piglets of the 20s lost their shirts on the stock market. Imagine telling your grandchildren that you blew it all in a crypto project called Goobers. Yeah. Oof. This is James Janney, the great crypto scam. We watched Logan Paul steal your wallet by Meat, Camp, Meat Canyon.
I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just, like... We'll watch this. Uh, we did watch Logan Paul's response. We're, we've already moved on, and we looked at all the updates on the Logan Paul response. But once again, my initial assessment of this is Logan Paul, uh, it's basically the analogy I used, okay? Let's say you want to rob a bank, okay? This is illegal. For those of you who do not know, robbing a bank is illegal. Let's say in order to rob a bank, hold on, actually, you know what? I got to put like a good... Okay, let's see. This is a terrible bank robbery theme. I want like a doon 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 like a like a bass, heavy bass song. You know what I mean? Hold on. Is there a good one? Like snatch style. Okay? I don't want like a payday two. But Payday 2 doesn't have, like, uh... No. It's not bad. Okay. Yeah. That one is copyright, most likely. This one is copyright. Yeah, that's copyright. We can't do that. I was looking for... 95-pound Chinese, man. No, you, you can't do that. Robbing a bank is so much cooler than scamming a bunch of sweaty online weirdos, though. Yes, it is. You guys keep sending me copyrighted music, man. Stop sending me copyrighted music, man. Heist music has to be copyright free, please. I know. I, if, if it were up to me, I would play like, I would literally play something fucking. All right, whatever. We'll just use this one. Fuck it. Let's say. You want to fucking rob a bank. First thing you do is get a bunch of fucking scammers together. Bunch of rugged guys. Bunch of real nice fucking bank robbers, right? Get a bunch of the other bank robbers together and you set a fucking plan, yeah? You got your crypto guy, Eddie. He's going to be the wheel man. He's done this before. You got Z, who's a developer, long list of crimes in his docket. Yeah? You're gonna need your fucking manager, your right hand man, to make sure he's got the whole operation together. Then, <laughs> you're gonna need the confidence man, the absolute fucking scammer. Closer to your heart, the better. That's why you go with Crypto King, right? He's known for pulling off big robberies like this one before. He's the best confidence man in the fucking game, yeah? And you, Logan, are going to be the fucking muscle, right? When you're ready to rob a fucking bank like this and you get the car together and you got fucking caught, writing text messages on the fucking telephone to your fucking other bank robbers and then those more experienced bank robbers turn around and fuck you over after you've successfully tried to rob the fucking bank and have been left with no money in your bag and you get caught by the fucking authorities you still a fucking bank robber it doesn't matter if you don't have any fucking notes. You still went into the fucking bank. You still texted on the telephone. And 
<laughs> and successfully conspired to rob the fucking bank. You went into the fucking bank and now you got caught with your fucking panties on the ground, yeah? But it's still fucking illegal. That's my point. My point is, you know, you, you, you try to fucking rob a... We don't call it the telephone. We call it ringy, ringy, speaky to your mate's thingy. Yeah. Ultimately, you can spot a rob a bank and there's text messages showing that you were trying to do that and you do actually go into the fucking bank and you get caught, but you don't have any money because, like, they stole from you. The other guys, the veteran, the fucking cunts, the vets, they stole from you. They stole all the fucking dollars right from underneath your fucking nose, yeah? Well, guess what? You still fucking conspired to rob the bank, which is illegal! Left him with five quid, mate. Yeah, but robbing the banks is cool. They make movies out of that shit. Yeah, robbing banks is cool. Also a victimless crime. Cryptocurrency, kind of like that too, but, you know, you are still stealing from other individuals rather than, like, an institution. Oh, my God, not victimless law. <laughs> Let the geyser braise. Did we already look at your new TikTok? Wait, my new TikTok? I have a new TikTok? Oh, I did. Coffee, you interviewed the developer who stole the game code, fled to Switzerland, and held it hostage for a million dollars. Well, his name is Zach Kelling. Surely, as the internet detective that you proclaim to be, you would know that he spent time in prison for multiple felonies, one for aggravated robbery, armed robbery at a liquor store, and the other- Wait, not a single person thinks that any of the people involved in this situation are good people. You hired him, you fucking idiot. You literally hired- Doc! What is this? He's just like compounding the L's, dude. He's like, this guy that I hired to do scams on my audience? Well, that guy's a bad guy. Oh, sick, man. Okay. Coffee, you interviewed the developer who... Logan's Nation on so before the year gets rolling. Damn, we fucking... Austin Ox is fast as fuck, dude. Day in the life of a true crypto geezer. Wake up and meet the mate Logan. My little scam coin. Isn't she lovely? YouTube views make a 38 nil rug pull better. Rev up the Bugatti away. <laughs> You doing the bank guy bank robbery monologue? Yeah, I could have I could have cleaned that up better, but I think that was a pretty good that last monologue was even better as a TikTok, I think. Why did they call him Rug Pool Pole? Because he rug pulls Avi. That's what he fucking does. He pulls rugs. And I'm not talking about the fucking Turkish ones, yeah. I'm talking about cryptocurrency. <laughs> God, I love Guy Ritchie movies so much. Holy shit. <sighs> I just watched Rock and Roll again the other night. A banger. Not his best, but still great. Um, what's Logan suing for? Yeah, of course I've seen Snatch and Lockstock. My preference is Snatch. Brad Pitt is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Bro, are you telling me to buy in a crypto zoo? That's right. That's what I'm telling you. One last fucking... Logan Paul actually came out of this going, 
One last fucking big hit, yeah? For all the boys and all the fucking girls, right? This guy, Coffeezilla, he can't do nothing. One last scam and I'm out. This time, we're going to be bringing in the fucking greats. We're bringing in Rogpool Pulley. We need a new developer. His name... I don't even I don't even have anything for that. <laughs> Unrelated, but your movie takes are really good. Thank you. Yeah. One last fucking time. One last fucking time. 100 percent royalty free music, the highest. Oh, this is perfect. This was what I was looking for. Yeah. In order to pull off a fucking big one like this. You're gonna need a team. That's why we brought Bullet Tooth Tony. And every team is not complete without a fucking bold guy. He's the confidence man. That's right. Crypto King, they call him. We're doing fucking rug pulls. <laughs> Last but not least, we got Tiny Toes Timmy. <laughs> All right. We're done. We're done with that. This is just penis music. I love penis music. Okay, we're not done with that. I can't stop. Real fucking scam of old, though. The top of the fucking hour. That's right. We got Billy the Butcher. He's serving you the top of the hour at break. But fear not. All you need to do in order to avoid those fucking ads is subscribe, lads. That's right. 